Welcome again to another episode of Running from the Hills. I'm Lori. I'm the librarian at the Ironton Branch. And today I'm going to be reading, it's a teen novel, so this is a unique thing for us to read. It's called Whispering Evil, and it's by Brina Butler. She is a local author, and um, a special thank you to her for letting us use her book for our program. And... We are actually, this is part of a series uh, called the Midnight Guardian series. This is actually book two. And it starts off with a quote. A child born of sun and moon will impart a human gift to bring forth the fall of the house of, sun, of Gaman. This is the Hayes Prophecies. Prologue. You're never going to believe this. But I'm a tooth fairy. See? I knew you wouldn't believe me. Well, it's true. Sort of. My name is Kira Ryan. I live in a beautifully quiet river town in southern Ohio. I have a friend named Ann that can time travel, and my boyfriend, Colby, is as brave as he is smart. And I also just turned 16, which is awesome. Well, back to the supernatural stuff. I'm not technically a tooth fairy. I'm a guardian, one of the keepers of the special power called the Vox. The Vox are given to humans that are destined to be set the course of history for the good. Each of these destined humans, called Targes, receive three Vox for their guardian. The first Vox is the voice of passion, or one might say emotion, or maybe more accurately, devotion. It is given in infancy and right after the child cuts its first tooth. The second vox, the voice of truth, is bestowed when the kid passes from infancy into childhood. This happens when they lose their first baby tooth. The third and most precious vox is the voice of wisdom, given at the sunset of childhood when the last baby tooth is lost. Because of the timing of the vox, it is believed that the guardians are the foundation for the tooth fairy legend. A little more than a year ago, I told Colby that I was a guardian. Yeah, that was major, but he dealt with it like a pro. Of course, I couldn't tell him everything. I couldn't share with him the little fact that I'm believed to be the child of the sun and moon. Together, we took down the emperor of the kingdom of the gremlin-like creatures called Mogdoks. The Mogdoks are the original inhabitants of Atlantis. Centuries ago, the guardians banished the continent of Atlantis from the earth in order to protect humankind. Untouched by the Mogdok Empire, the Guardians still keep watch over the banished continent from the village of Elsted, located in the mountains high above the city of Atlantis. Even though we, are defe we defeated their emperor, his daughter Bru Gaman quickly took the throne. Her shape-shifting abilities and talent for controlling human emotion make her just as dangerous as her father. Maybe more so. Worst of all, she spent last year as a friend in our tight circle. Under the guise of Brooke Baines, she learned our secrets, and then she betrayed us. She wasn't the only one. Her brother, Brune, had also taken a turn undercover. He revealed the truth about himself to me in order to save my life. In gratitude, I promised not to share a secret. Then I said goodbye. After all, he is a mog dog one of the most vicious and manipulative species to ever live. After Emperor Gaiman's death, news of my existence spread qu pretty quickly. It was just too much for my custodian and trainer, a kid soon named Nana. So, a few days after her 500th birthday, she packed up her belongings and left me in the care of the parents I barely knew. I was raised in secret as a human for my protection. Now the whole new world is opening up to me. Let's give this piñata a whack and see what shakes out. Well, if you would like to read more of Whispering Evil by Brina Butler, um, you can request it through our catalog by going to our website at www.brickslibrary.com. And please remember to like us on Facebook and to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you again for tuning in and see you next time.